Good day YouTube, down to bricks here. What you building? Today I'll be doing a review of Spider-Man's Ghost Rider Team Up set 76058. It was a 2016 release, 217 parts, 3 minifigures. The cost is £20, 20 US, 25 Euro and $40 Australian. So let's swing in. Take a look at this set, and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts. Well, no introduction needed here, and I actually don't think we even need to have a close look at this minifig, because how many times have we seen this Spider-Man before? But the highlight is the new handle piece and the new web mold. And I've always liked the white rope piece that they used for the web in the past, so we could have Spidey swinging on in. I do think this is an awesome addition and a great piece to be setting up some different scenes with Spider-Man. And we can't have a superhero set without a villain, and here is the Hobgoblin. And what an awesome, awesome minifigure this is. It just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Check out that face print, that is just an awesome job from Lego. A better look at that jagged cape, very, very nice piece. The alternate face print is just as good. And we get some very nice printing on the rear torso with Hobgoblin's little man bag. And to finish up, the star of the show, Ghost Rider himself, and how cool is this figure. I must admit I'm finding it extremely hard to decide which I like better Ghost Rider or Hobgoblin because I really love the Hobgoblin but I think I'm just going to have to edge it out to Ghost Rider just because it's Ghost Rider. He comes with his flaming chain as the accessory. Let's go in a bit closer and have a look at that torso print. It's very very sweet torso printing. It does have a little bit of reflectiveness to it with the silver print on it. Very nice. But the hair piece, the, the face print and the hair mold, just have a look at that. I mean, how cool does that look? That is very nice. So the head and hair piece is all one mold, so you can't remove the flaming hair. And here we can have a look at the awesome torso printing continues on the back. Let's start with Hobgoblin's glider. Now there's nothing too much to this. It does have some nice details. Of course we do get flick fire missiles. As you can see there. And a quick look at the back. One of the play features of this set is to place the glider on top of the lights and use the jumper to launch Spider-Man to knock down Hobgoblin. We do have some stickers to highlight this corner build, which I actually think are very nice stickers. So we get some street signs, newspaper vending machine stickers, They wouldn't be very good newspaper vending machines without newspapers, so we do get some stickers to place on some tiles. And we even get some rubbish for the garbage bin. But the star of the builds has to be Ghost Rider's bike, and I think this bike is really cool. Awesome with the flame pieces. The black Nexo Knight shield on the front is a very nice touch. There's some great details on the set, and I just think it was a very clever design from LEGO. A nice big fat tire on the back, and it's just a cool look. But it's not a watch a building review without a comparison, so let's find something we can compare this to. Now I didn't have to look too far to get a bat bike and this is the bat bike from Batman's Gotham City Cycle Chase from earlier this year in 2016. And while these bikes are out of scale to a minifig, I think if you're going to take a handful of Lego and put a bike together, I don't really think you've got too much choice in to make it a little bit larger than what it should be. And I did actually think the bat bike was one of the best bat bikes from Lego. But if I had to pick one out of here, no doubt Ghost Rider's bike is the pick for me. 
Great design, great detailing, great look. Well done, Lego. So there we have Spider-Man's Ghost Rider team up. And just before I give you my thoughts on the set, I think you already know what I'm going to say about it. But let's start with the price. So 40 bucks Australian. And I think that's probably about right for this set. Now, don't get me wrong, always wish Lego would be cheaper. But what we normally pay for over 200 pieces, it's about sort of what the current rate is. So I don't think we can complain too much. It is a little bit light on with pieces. But if we have a look, we've got new elements in here. We've got the new web. We've got new minifigs with the new molding for the Ghost Rider head. We also get some new parts in new colours. The Nexo Knight shield in black. I like that piece. The flame pieces on the bike. I don't know if they're new or not, but... It's the first time I've seen them, so I really like those. Now, as for the set, I love it. Big thumbs up. Nothing to complain about. I love each of the little builds. The minifigs are just top-notch. Loving the minifigs, of course, with the Spider-Man. I would have liked to at least get the moulded legs with the red boots for the Spider-Man, but the other two minifigs more than make up for Spider-Man. And as much as I love the minifigs, I actually think the builds are really cool as well. I mean, the glider, that's probably the, the least thing that I like. The little street corner, fan of that, really like that. I think the stickers we got were very nice stickers to help detail that, so I did like the stickers in this set. And out of the builds, the highlight is Ghost Rider's bike. Big fan of that build. And I'd even go so far as to say that is probably my favourite all-time Lego bike. So overall, big thumbs up for me. If you're a fan, I definitely recommend picking up this set. You won't be disappointed. So even if you pay full price for this set like I did, I still don't think you're going to be disappointed. But if you can get it for a little bit cheaper, all the better. But definitely a great set for the Marvel fans. So I hope you enjoyed this Watcher Building review. If you did, give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you love your Lego, hit that subscribe button because i got stacks more for you guys. You can also check me out on Instagram at Down Under Bricks. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.